Cultivators, we are here for another episode of CC Go with another small business before they make it big. What's up, Bobby J? How you doing today? What's up, man? It's your boy, Bobby J, man. B Photography 713 on Instagram. Just out here, man. I appreciate y'all having me today. That's absolutely amazing. So you're a legend in the industry out here in Houston, mm -hmm. but where did it all start? Uh, man, it started in my college days. I mean, pretty much like right after high school, went straight to college. And, um, you know, I didn't grow up and say, oh, I want to be a photographer. I just knew about cameras, pictures and stuff like that. So just going to school, my college friends and we going out having a good time and I'm just getting people tapping me on my shoulders like, hey man, you take wedding pictures. Uh, you took my pictures last week. My girl's pregnant, this and that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not that type of photographer, man. Oh, wow. I just, yeah, have fun with it, me and my friends and this and that. And then it got to a time where we would go out and have fun so much. People was like, oh, hey, that's the photo guy and this and that. I never even had a website or nothing. I was just sending what? people their pictures, yeah. So were you like on the move with the camera 24-7? Yeah, just, you know, I knew about it, but it was just like close friends and this and that. We was just enjoying the moment. You know, you're in college, you're doing a lot of different stuff. So, you know, you just, I was just enjoying the moment. It, you know, living life. And then I started to think like so many people hitting me up about this. Let me uh, do a little bit more research and really see what it was. I had a job and I was like, man, I'm good, you know, but I was still young, you know, I'm 21. So, um, yeah, after that, man, I just started researching more about photography. And I'm like, I had so many Facebook followers. People was telling me to make an Instagram. I didn't even have an Instagram, no website, no nothing. And I was like, if I do this, y'all going to support me and this and that. But I was already in the clubs everywhere, um, school and everything. But I was, uh, by the time I started, I was probably making more money on a weekend than I was making my job in two weeks. And, and the photos were super cheap back then. So and that's when it took off after that. So. So how did you get to work with models instead of like, there's so many photographers doing weddings, doing so many different type of photo, photo shoots, bourgeois. Why, how did you even get into the industry that you're in? Um, it goes, how I, how I started pretty much was uh, just a lot of networking. And before I had a studio, like I said, it started off in the clubs. And then um, I went to this boat party. Shout out Mobane Media. I went to this boat party that um, that he had. And then uh, I had met Miss Megan. Well, I think me and Miss Megan knew about each other, but she was like, hey, I want to introduce you to this guy. This guy, uh, you know, they are, are part of this hot magazine and they like number two double next to double XL. And then she introduced me and plugged me into a guy. And then they followed me on Instagram and I and they followed me for a couple months. And I didn't think that they was paying attention and stuff like that. Then they called me after a couple of months and be like, look, you already everywhere. You hide in the city. Everybody already know you. Let's talk numbers. We bring you out and let's open up something with you in Houston. And then after that, it was it was a wrap. So every time, you know, Thug would come in, Gucci, man, Travis for Scott. Um, who, we was dealing with the Drakes. We was dealing with everybody once I signed the deal. And then it came with me working with BET with them, too. So after that, the city was just waiting for me to come home. And it was a wrap. By the time I came back to Houston, it, we was shooting. I was shooting celebrities, everybody, models, all of it. To this day, same thing. That is absolutely crazy. It's crazy how a simple connection can lead to so much more. Mm -hmm. Is there any other connection that you felt that played a huge role in your photography? Um, this is a guy named Patrick. You know, he was the first person to ever uh, put money behind me, but... I'm not going to say he really put it money behind me. He saw the vision with me based off of the girls that I was shooting and taking pictures with. And I would go outside and do this and this and that. And then he would be like, man, you need an actual studio. And I'm like, man, I can't afford that studio. You know what I'm saying? So he put the money behind me just to have the... Um, the privacy to come up there and watch the photo shoots and be a part of the photo shoots, you know? So shout out him, you know what I'm saying? So he he really got me my first studio and then I took it from there, so. Sounds like he's a true community cultivator. I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so you're an entrepreneur, you own a studio. What else do you have going on with B Photography? Um, man, we just do a lot of traveling. The latest thing I got now, which I want to talk about is booking 713. We, um, and that's who you guys see when the models come up here and stuff like that. So booking 713 is a page that we started to connect 
people that want to be in the industry. Um, you don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. You don't know who to network with. So I take my plus. Like we just did Travis Scott, you know, yesterday at the oh, baseball snap. game at the uh, Astros. Uh, what, what do you call it? The, the Astro World? No, 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 the um, the baseball park, Minute Maid Park. Minute Maid so Park, yeah. yeah, so when people plug me in and say, "Hey, man, you hot? We want you to come here," and uh, Travis Scott and them gonna be here. So I say, "Man, hey, that'll be cool." But can I get five free tickets? And then I try to put it on booking seven one three. Like, hey, first five oh, people wow. here. Man, come on. I'm getting y'all in with me. Come network. Come do this and this and that. I send it to my photographers, models, people that just follow the page. And I just say, somebody just literally invited me to some Lil Kiki's doing a day video shoot. And I'm posting it on that. Like, hey, Lil Kiki video shoot, this and that. But we started the page to plug people in. If I can get you in for free, a little to nothing, like just come out. So many people come up to me and be like, man, I want to learn about the industry. How do you stay connected? This and that. Just come to free networking events. Come to video shoots. If y'all see something, most people stay at home and be lazy like, man, that's a 40-minute drive. But that 40-minute drive to that boat party turned me up to make what I make every day. You know, so you got to just get up and get out the house. So that's how you make it. That is crazy. And you said it's free to show up, free to be a part just of the mix. Come. Yeah, I post free flyers on the page. I post where I'm going to be at. If it's a celebrity event, man, hey, the first five people come, we got future tonight. Like, I'm just trying to plug people in. Like, that's it. I, I don't gatekeep. I tell people I don't really care about the industry like that. I, it, it wasn't like I was bred it to say this is what I'm going to do. It was given to me, and I think all our people need to be a part of stuff like this, be more independent, be entrepreneurs. So, um, I mean, I don't know a lot of people that just saying, hey, this is a page that I made for free events. I'm going to take what people are trusting me for and try to get an opportunity to you. And that's what Booking 713 is. That's amazing. So why did you do this in the first place? Because we do free events here, but there's so mm -hmm. much work that goes into it. And to execute on a high level, it takes dedication. So why are you so dedicated to... Uh, I, I go off of what people want to do. I When I was coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I first started taking pictures, I went to this company and they was like, um, man, you don't have enough experience. Oh, you don't know this. You don't know that. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, just give somebody a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, train me on what I should know. This and that. I knew about cameras, but I ain't know enough about this lighting and this and that. And I come to the website. Like, man, y'all one of the best websites. Just teach me how to take pictures like y'all and I'll be a part of y'all team. But I didn't get that love. So... I'm here today, even on the podcast, like, I don't know where y'all might be next year. You know what I'm saying? So when you give somebody a chance, it, it can mean everything. Because if I would have said, nah, I don't know y'all. Y'all got a thousand followers. Y'all got 10K followers or whatever. And I need people that's going to interview me with 1.5 million. Next year, y'all can't have that. And I'm going to be like, hey, man, can I get on the podcast? Y'all be <laughs> like, no, nah, man, like you ain't show us the love, you know? So I'm here to show the love, here to get the opportunity to, to the models that y'all see. I'm trying to get them the opportunity, not just to say, oh, be a part of my company. No, but go out and be great. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you stick with the company for one to three months, three to six months. I got people that we motivate every day to just get up and say, man, I'm going to go ahead and do it because you're giving me an opportunity. No matter how small it is, big it is, it's more than what I had last week with me sitting at home. You know what I'm saying? We give discounts on photo shoots. Try to partner with y'all to give more networking events to the community. So that's the goal. So that's what we're going to start doing. Man, you're a true community cultivator. I'm excited to be sitting and having this interview with you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. So if you could explain your brand, how would you go about doing that? Um, the brand is just, you know, anything that got to do with the camera, man. Like, let's get it. Like, we gonna, we gonna get you right. You know what I'm saying? What if it's interviews, pictures, following you around, paparazzi for you. Um, and I do anything with a camera. So, no, facts. So, everyone likes to make things seem like it's simple, like it was an easy journey for you. And it's like, oh, you just made it just like that. Of course. Like that. Yeah. I can just pick up a camera and do it myself. <laughs> so. so, what was the biggest challenge to get where you are right now? Um, I guess studying. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to study the game. People say they want to do this, they want to do that. It's not about just taking pictures. It's the aftermath of taking the pictures. I mean, you can sit right here and it looks so good, but they don't know the editing process, making sure it's right, the lighting, the this and that, the making sure the audio doing, the matching it up, and then they we give it to the world. You know what I'm saying? But they don't know it's going to take 
a day or two just to edit a 10 minute interview. No, so just the process of, you know, everything is just, you got to study this. So, well, so there's a lot of people out there that are inspired by you. We have people in our network that are look up to you and they were checking out your work. Mm-hmm. What advice do you give to us that are inspiring to be videographers and run the studio? I mean, everything is just a start to so somebody who even watching this. Like all you got to do is just start like, Save your money, like challenge yourself. This is what I challenge people to do. Save your money at your job at nine to five. If you can work both, do both, like get double the money, but save about five to 10 K. If you think you really want to do this, go for it. And you use that money for backup. If your money start getting low and you don't start seeing the process, man, I wouldn't even quit the job. Go from full time to part time. That way you can make more time for your career because you never know what you're missing out on if you just don't take the chance. I saved money at a job that I was making $8 an hour for a year. But for that year, I was also studying the art of pictures, videos, and everything that I want to do, even interviewing celebrities. And after that year, I went from full-time to part-time and then part-time to this is me 13 years later now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've never got a bank loan or nothing. Like, we front our own money with all the businesses that I run. Like, that's it. That's the power of real connections, right? Mm-hmm. Can you talk a little bit to the power of real connections? Because you're established and you've been in the game. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you're not getting loans, it could only be connections. Yeah. So, I mean, connections is powerful. Like like I said, that goes with seeing something online. I know people that just see something online, they'll go to it and they'll sit in the corner. I'm going to an event. If it's 100 people there, I need 100 people. I need you. I need 100 followers by the end of this event. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's me. We got to get up and stop being scared. Stop being afraid to learn. Stop being afraid to make that connect. Even when I go to artist showcases, if it's eight artists there, them eight artists is who showed up there and I need to be networking with them because they showed up and they they somewhat serious. So people got to stop looking at that. If you're an artist and you're doing a showcase with eight people and you see that photographer there or that promoter there, you never know how big that promoter is that can put you in front of 100,000 people. But you're so stuck on eight people came that you're not giving that your all. You know, somebody like me in the building, I can I see you at your show. And if I like your music, now we pick you up and we're going to turn you up. So you got to keep that same energy, you know, and I tell people that I tell the models that wherever you go, show love to everybody. The dude in the corner, the dude in the back, um, you know, the cleaning lady, like you never know who's people connected with. So no facts. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's epic. So it's 2024. It's still early first quarter. Mm-hmm. What are your goals for 2024? Um, man, we we going to keep pushing booking. It's B Photography 713 is the brand, it's the established. We 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 making money off of it every day. It's a it's a residual. Um so 2024, we going to push the other pages. We are going to try to network with people. We are going to try to keep doing the free networking events. It's hard because you have to find people who want to partner with you to do something free for the city. But I tell people all the time, don't worry about what's free because when the people come, if they like the product, they're going to pay for it. So we give it away for free because in the back end, 100 people came and out of those 100 people, 50 of them might be new clients. So we don't worry about busting out nothing for free. So that that's the goal. That makes sense. And we've noticed that too. We give so much free stuff that people are just like, it only makes sense that they should pay for the product or pay for the marketing. Mm -hmm. So what other businesses and the different pages are you cooking up? Um, So what we do is um, we have B Photography, which is the brand studio for Houston, which is the studios, you know, and um, we just partner with a lot of other brands out here and uh, mo- mostly partnerships, you know what I'm saying? And uh, if you go to the page, you can see them in our bio, but partnerships are real um, lucrative and, and they help us out with a lot of stuff. So I'm not going to name drop nothing, but I always try to make sure I put the brands and the partnerships in the bio. So there's, I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to tap in and also get the connections in terms of photography or even going to the mixers. Mm-hmm. Can you let, go ahead and let the viewers know where they could tap in? Yeah, man. Look, if y'all want to network, get your name out there. Just come meet some new people around positive people. No club and no nothing. Somewhere where you can sit and build your brand and tell people about your brand. Y'all follow Booking713 underscore or Booking713. But just 
man, get your name out there, your brand out there, and y'all just get up today and go network and connect with new people. That's amazing. So at this event, how are you helping people connect? Um, we just putting together new models with new photographers. A lot of people can't afford the big name photographers. You know, so what I try to do, like I said, I'm not stingy. I'm not worrying about no no money. We gonna make money either way. So if I could connect a new model with a new photographer that's trying, I'll see people six months later and they back to back with portfolios. If I could connect an artist with a radio DJ or somebody like us where they can start going to talk and being on stuff, like that's the goals with Booking Seven One Three. But you just gotta get up and do it and get that connect. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm mm -hmm. excited to have a, a real community cultivator in the building. And I, we can't wait to see your business go big as it's already in the process. Man, I appreciate it, man. Peace out, cultivators.